Alrighty everyone, my name is Speaker 29 and welcome back to Final Fantasy 16. Our last session, uh, we pretty much went ahead and managed to make our way back to Eastpool um, as it actually ended up getting attacked by the Imperials. Um, and, and then we managed to make our way back to um, the hideaway where we unlocked the Alliant reports, which was very interesting. Uh, being able to see where the other side quests were and we were able to do some side quests within the hideaway, uh, Lost Swing, as well as um, I think Martha's Rest, which is pretty good. Um, in this session, uh, we're going to be going ahead and traveling over to Northreach as we're going to be heading over to like the Holy Capital, I think. Um, because, well, we learned that the, the crystals are destroying the world, so we're going to have to try and stop them somehow. And uh, yeah, uh, that will be what we'll do in this session, and I hope you guys will enjoy it. If you missed the previous episodes of the series, check it out for our playlist on my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Uh, consider subscribing to the channel to stay up to date on games such as this and any of games at the moment. I'll go ahead, open the world map, and we'll head over to Lost Wing again. <laughs> and we'll travel over to the other place. So, I... we're meeting in Northreach. <laughs> and will I find Sid and Jill before this dame finds me? But how did the oh, right, there's a dame that we have to find too. Um. I don't know if I can go up here. Travel up this road. I haven't been up here yet, so. Is it safe to ride to Northreach now? I wouldn't say safe, but at least now it's possible. It's good to hear. <laughs> Clear view. We've got some arachnids. Let's get this quick. What? There we go. Dealt with those pretty quickly. Some to my right as well. Give them all you've got for. Um, got a dim. I wonder if there's a big... I think I did just see a big enemy right behind us there. Yeah, there is. Dragon Avis. There's a chest right to our right there. Not this time. Pull them down. Get the gouge out. There we go. That was good. Almost 10,000 damage there. Damage. So much continuous damage that is. Well, that instantly broke him. Jesus. I took no damage there because of the wisps. Nice. Okay. 
I've got a dra dragon talon there. Griffin's head something. <laughs> Brittle? Oh yeah, we've got about those um, line heart tonics as well. Uh, increases burning blade damage by 7%. That could be good. Need to get um, new amulets for the... For the Ifrit abilities, that would be good. Oh, I thought I heard a spider nearby. God damn it. Oh, we've got some wild chocobos up ahead. Here's the new enemies. Dragon nets. Oh. Go. We're almost there. Looks like it's a uh, right near a castle though. Is this a clear view? There. Northreach. Just wanted to see what's down this way. Before we head over to Northreach. Oh, got some raptors. Oh, he's not going to launch up just because they're bigger enemies. Away to to Northridge, Northridge now. Oh, actually no. Oh wait, wait, wait. This has got like a. Oh, there's an item up ahead. More rafters too. Mission move is so good. <laughs> I think we've cleared out this area a little bit. Or as much as we could for now. Make our way to Lo the North Reach here. I was going to say Lost Reach. Combination of Lost Wing and <laughs> Northreach. There's that city over there. Soldiers used to speak of a brothel. 
And that was north of the checkpoint. Oh. I had the dame has friends in the south. Oh, this is a brothel. What a weird place for a brothel. Outside, outside of the front. Delightful. Give me one of those plums. We'll give you like a plum for the apple of your eye. Uh, how do I get to the shop? We've reds, whites, ales, meads, ciders. There's an obelisk there. Are you gonna buy something or not? A merchant. And what can I do for I don't you? think this is the the brothel, but I think it's inside somewhere. I think we're good with armor for now. Curiosities. Uh, we could sell some stuff probably. There we go, and then we've got some black blood. I doubt you'll get more than that in the capital. <sighs> Come back again. It's a wild claim. Oh, I guess I guess the brothel is the outside. I'm I'm not a hundred percent sure. Are you the lady? A moment, my lady. A moment. <laughs> I doubt you could afford even that much of my time. Branded. My mistake. No, mine. Upon reflection, you don't have the scent of a branded about you. The flowers. Otto always did know how to please me. More than Sid ever did anyway. Do you think you could please me, Clive? You're the dame. Let us leave such impersonal titles to my less preferred clientele. You can call me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. I can trust you, can't I? You can trust me, yes, but... Why would you... Help you? Because that's what we do. Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. Without it, I would not be where I am today. And so, I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. Which brings us here. To the final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. I was right in saying that was the holy capital. I, was, I thought I was completely I wrong there, the to be honest. not lightly to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested. <laughs> Unless. Unless. <laughs> Unless, of course. His master deigned to appear. Yes, that will do nicely. But I shall expect a favor in return. Wait, what? <sighs> oh, cut <God> it. <laughs> I might notice that the camera sometimes like moves down. I think I might have stick drift on my PlayStation 5 controller. So that's wonderful. That's always nice to see. You say these are all from Alright, we'll speak to Isabel. What the hell are you doing? Tut tut. We cannot have people thinking I tolerate disobedience from my branded. The men who gave me this are no more my masters than you are. But it's not as if I can hide it. From the moment you acquired it, that brand has done naught but take. But today, it is going to give you exactly what you want. 
just play along. Fair enough. But I hear some weird noises. Then. Then. Back to the vial already. Oh, that's what we're calling it. But of course, we must make ready to welcome you, my dear. And who might this be? Why, my new escort. The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. <laughs> well, don't work him too hard. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. Oi, hold up. Another fucking branded. Oh, you're lucky you're with the dame. Now get out of my sight, filth. Bloody hell. That wasn't so bad. Yeah, that could have been way worse. It wasn't so bad. They might have recognized me. But they didn't. And even if they had they wouldn't have done anything about it. The gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have an arrangement, as do you and I. Now, if you'd care to follow me, we can speak more at the Vale. Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. Yeah. <laughs> Writing wrongs like for the veil. I haven't seen you around the veil of late. Oh, don't tell mm, me you've grown tired of us. Uh, it's not that. The garrisons are being called back to the capital. We're to join the legions. Here it is. We found the veil. Think. And if anyone requests her company, tell them she is feeling unwell. Madame, you look stunning. As do you, my dear. Shall I have one of the girls draw a bath? That won't be necessary. <laughs> Clive, my darling. Welcome. To the veil. Wonderful. <laughs> Can't wait. Is this game on my um, physical copy of Final Fantasy 16? It only says strong fantasy violence. Is there no um, sign of nudity? <laughs> Usually with these kind of games, like uh, like a Persona, <laughs> like a Persona 5 or like a Shin Megami Tensei 5, they have like the rating uh, with like uh, strong sexualized imagery or some shit like that. <laughs> but it's just uh, strong violence, a strong fantasy violence. No sign of nudity here. There's partial nudity, but I guess we'll see. Thank you for seeing me through the gates, my lady. I am in your debt. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you, it's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder. It's certainly not Sid's influence. You uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? I don't want to keep my companions waiting. <laughs> If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Yes, Otto asked me to help them as well. But to answer your question, I need you to find someone for me. One of my girls. Oh. Tatienne has been gone for several days now. Oh Having shit, this is no not good. Of explanation. And I've begun to fear the worst. I feel as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. Though I can't say I'm any good at it. I trust you'll do your best. Oh, and take this. Seal obtained. The moon and stars. Proof of that trust. 
and hopefully enough to keep prying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of yours. <laughs> now, I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find anything, ask for me there. The dame. Let's start it out. I should probably start here. Are they inside? Hello. You wear the dame's brooch. She must trust you. Yep. Enough to help me look for one of your colleagues. A woman by the name of Tatien. She's still missing then. Oh, if only I'd comforted her. You saw her before she disappeared? The day before. She was in tears. She'd lost her comb. A gift from the dame. It wasn't anything fancy, but you could tell it meant the world to her. You see, Tatien was an orphan. And she looked upon the dame as a mother, as do we all. So she was upset. And I didn't lend her my shoulder. But perhaps someone else did. Tatian shared a room. Her chambermaid may have seen something. She's over there, sitting by the pond. Thank you. Let's see what her chambermaid can tell us then. Oh, we've got two um, side quests here too. Hello, mate. If the dame has given you her trust, and you have ours as well. No, you are always welcome here at the Vale. Hello, oh, lady. Hello, chambermaid. So you're the new escort the girls have been talking about. And you've already been sent off on an errand, eh? Poor boy. You'll be knackered before the real work begins later on tonight. <laughs> I'm told you share a bedchamber with Tatien. Did she say anything to you before before she went missing only that she needed to meet with someone she did mention a name but i know exactly who she meant you do lad from the garrison annoying little shit spent every gilly earned on tatien and picked fights with anyone else who tried to buy her time followed her around like a lost puppy tatien was flattered at first but it didn't take long for her to get scared she thought about saying something. But the dame was so proud of her for how much she was bringing in. And she didn't want to let her down. This man from the garrison. Did you ever see him? Of course I did. He tried to sneak into our room enough times. Oh. Slimy sod's got a scar over one eye. Claims he got it in battle. You've been very helpful. Don't let him get away with this. Find him. Yeah, we'll kill him. And you'll find her. Though she might be dead too. Man from the garrison. Seems a trip to the barracks is in order. A free side quest here too. Might as well do them. I don't think it'll be that difficult. Well then, I suppose you'll need a little... Excuse me, you there? The gentleman with the sword? I cannot help but notice you bear the moon and stars. So you are an associate of the dames? Might I trouble you for some assistance? You'll be rewarded, of course. And who exactly would I be assisting? Oh, forgive me. I am Etienne, a humble merchant, though fortunate enough to count the dame among my acquaintances. I have business beyond these walls, but... The guards have grown somewhat suspicious of my comings and goings of late. Oh, I was hoping you've been someone doing, mate? might be kind enough to go in my stead. And who better than someone in the employ of the Vale's proprietress? Would you be willing to help a fellow in his hour of need? Sure, if it pays well, why not? Why Thousand not? Gil. Marvelous. The task is simple enough. Pass through the gate and deliver packages to a few of my most valued clients. There these? are three in total. A grocer, an apothecary, and a distiller. You need only mention that the items you carry are... Fresh from the master's table. Oh. Nothing dangerous, I hope. Why, of course not. 
Merely trifles which folk beyond the checkpoint are keen to get their hands on. Mm. And though I cannot prevent you from peeking, I advise that you don't. Strongly advise. The want beyond the wall. Very heavy purses. Um, bum, bum. Might as well check them out. <laughs> Every ounce and jostle. Jounce and jostle? Or ounce? I don't know. Of this unexceptional level, leather sack is accompanied by an eerily melodic tinkering that is likely best ignored. Fair enough. Might as well just give it to whoever this is first. Oh, the liquor, the liquor monger. I warn you now, I don't sell to your kind, whether you have the coin or not. Where's your master anyway? Etienne sent me. Didn't know he had his own bearer. Business must be booming. All right, quickly now, before the guards notice. Sure, here we go. Here's your drugs. <sighs> that is no burden off my back. And this is for Etienne. No, I'll just keep that money, thanks. All this for a drink. Oh. Not just any drink. The very best. Specially distilled for my most discerning customers. The guards find <laughs> that. They'll seize it before you can blink. You keep it well hidden. All right. Etienne likes it. Tell him there's more where that came from. For a price. Of course. Of course. Of course. Brandy wine. Yeah. That's the good stuff. Here's I the herbalist. No business with branded. Well, I have Why is his eyes closed like that? That's so weird. A package. Fresh from the master's table. I do not know you. Where is the merchant, Etienne? Somewhere the gate guards won't be paying him or his affairs any mind. Fine. Hand over the goods and be gone. <laughs> there you go. All right. This is lighter than usual. Branded, if I discover you have played me false, I can always take it back. You will do no such thing. Your master should cut out your insolence. Hung. Had you been the tool of any other man, I would see you clapped in chains. Payment. Take it and get out of my sight. Cigars. Those cigars are worth more than your life. Do be careful. <laughs> Jeez. Um, some brandy, some cigars, and then what do you have, Tinker? There's nothing here for your kind, Branded. Go on now. Shoot. I have a delivery from Etienne. Fresh from the master's table. Why didn't you say so? <laughs> Times are hard. But this here will make them less so. For a while at least. Sorry about the welcome. I meant nothing by it. You wait right here. What has he got for me? Here. You can tell Etienne I'm a man of my word. Perfume. Oriflam's finest. Just as promised. Perfume, cigars, and spirits. Someone has expensive tastes. Yeah. The question is, 
How can they afford to maintain them? I suppose there's only one way to find out. I guess they might just resell those items. I don't know. That's the day done then. Hello, mate. Ah, Done the job. Returned. I believe these are yours. Delightful. The dame will be pleased. You don't say. And would she be pleased to learn what you had to exchange for those items? You mean the crystals? No need to be coy, my boy. Oh. Why not just tell me in the first place? An honest man wears deception like shackles about his ankles. I couldn't risk you stumbling under the gaze of the guards. After all, we both know the punishment for dealing in unsanctioned crystals, even such morsels as I provide. And if you don't know what this day's work may have cost you, then, well, I dare say you'll sleep all the better for it. Despite the risk, our friends beyond the wall gladly give their finest and most treasured wares for the paltry crumbs I trade in. I didn't realize crystals were so scarce here. As scarce as chocobo teeth, hence the thriving market for even the scantest fragments. <sighs> Do you think it vulgar that I profit from the hardship of others? I think you're doing what you believe is necessary. Yeah, indeed. And I don't doubt the dame would agree. A reward for a job well done. I have the goods I was commissioned to gather, and the guards are none the wiser. Oh, that's good, at least. I thank you. As will our mutual friend when she hears of how you have aided me. There we go. At least he's nice. <laughs> you know we don't agree with what he does, but that's fine. Oh, 20 blood... Bloody hides and steel skins. Silks, not skins. Silks. Steel silk. Right, I wouldn't make our way to the make our way to the barracks here. Got a side quest next to the main quest. And we've got one right over here too. Might as well just do the other side quest before doing the main one. Sergeant's got it in for us. Leon. As if either of us needs to brush up on our swordcraft. <laughs> he wouldn't doubt our swordcraft if he'd seen us down the veil last night. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your commanding officer branded? Don't you know the training grounds are for real soldiers? Hey, you lost or something? Sorry, but the Imperial Guard's got no use for your kind. The inventory always needs more bodies, though. I'm just passing through. I don't bloody believe it. The bastard's wearing the moon and stars. That'll be why he's strutting about like he owns the place. The dame laughed when we offered her our protection. You reckon this prick's really worth a couple of the Emperor's finest? <laughs> <laughs> I dare say there's ways of finding out. How about it, Branded? Care to show us how you earn that brooch? I'd rather not. Oh, no doubt. Only chivalrous souls that we are. Robin and I need to know the dame's being properly looked after. <laughs> Rise to the soldiers soldiers challenge? Yeah, sure. <sighs> Fine. If it'll put your mind at ease. Oh. And just so you know, I won't be holding back. I suggest you don't either. Take a moment to get ready if you need it. Wouldn't want you whining about an unfair fight. Pride comes before the fall. <laughs> cool, let's do it. Now, let's get the measure of you, shall we? If that's what you want. <laughs> Cocky bastard. All right, let's be having you. Let's do it. We fight both of them or we just that guy? 
I seem to fight both of them. Right, here we go. Oh, and when you go cry to your mistress, tell her it was Leon who gave you the pounding. Huh. Use all the dirty tricks. Oh, you want beautiful. Landed. Oh, okay, that was good. So you know one end of a break from the other. It's over. Enough. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> what the hell are you playing at, Leon? Huh. So it's a real challenge he wants, is it? Fine. Sword up, bearer. Let's have some fun, shall we? Yeah. How the bearer win the Dane's favor anyway? I know he went to hold my tongue for a start. Got potential. I give you that. Oh my goodness. Wow, that was good. <laughs> Soldiers bested. Smashed them. Some weird right out of that. Can I go now? Gregor's gash. The bastard didn't even break a sweat. The dame's man or no, he's still a branded. Best hope the sergeant never hears about this. Yeah. Oh, After they will. The bullocking he gave us for missing drills. Might be the old side had a point. I'll leave you to it. Yeah, good bloody riddance. <sighs> At least we know the dame's in safe hands, I suppose. Do us a favor. If you have to tell the dame about this, tell her we got a good few hits in, eh? Hmm? No, well, wait. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't happening. Pride comes before a fall. Completed. Got some meteorite out of that. Just one. Sergeant may be a surly bastard, but he had our number, right? Extra drills it is then. Hmm. Heard the bones fell favourably. To the veil then. Hello, uh, Mateo. Wait. Read here. Oh, that's the daily regimen. Roll call, morning prayer rounds, the striking dummies, midday rations, the butts, ten quivers, armored sparring, kit maintenance, groundskeeping, roll call, and repeat. Hello, Mateo. It's from Oriflam, eh? I, I don't know how a bearer came by the moon and stars, but thank goodness I found you. Oh. Can I trust you to be discreet? About what? About this. About what I wish to ask of you. About the fact that I, a humble creature, assist the Dame of the Vale in her endeavors. As unlikely as it may seem, there are those within the upper echelons of Sambraqua society who find the Empire's treatment of bearers to be barbaric. All right, but what do you want from me? This town is carried upon the backs of its bearers, and yet many would see their servants starve. Not for the want of coin, simple fare cost little more than a pittance, but to revel in the suffering of others, a simple act of cruelty. Contemptible though it is, my countrymen would sooner cut off their noses to spite their faces than see their bearers fed. And despite my best attempts at secrecy, my efforts to dole out comestibles have been noticed. Which brings me to my request. The brand upon your cheek affords you a certain freedom. A freedom I could sorely use. Fair enough. Fine. What do you need me to do? Fine. What do you need me to do? Oh, thank you. 
An extra meal may not seem like much, but it will make all the difference. Here, deliver these, but keep them here. Oh, another delivery. <laughs> Are these drugs? <laughs> Are these crystals? What food I can provide goes where the need is greatest. That's food. And today, I mean, food. To the barracks. I think drugs in the food. Overworked and underfed, not permitted a moment's rest. It's no wonder so many die before their time. Tragic, true, but do not let anger make you careless. People will view this act of mercy as an undermining of the Empire's authority. Be discreet for both our sakes, and for the sake of those we feed. Mm. Oh, and when you're finished, a word in the ear of one of the dame's girls would be appreciated. You won't be staying, then? I'm afraid not. I am expected back in the capital, and have already risked much speaking with you this long. Friend of the people. Right, off he goes then. Crystal's curse is bad enough. We can't let people starve as well. Yeah. I've heard the bones fell by. Are you waiting for it to heal on its own? Hurry up! Looks like now's not the time. What do you mean? Oh. Maybe someone else needs it. Mistreated bearer. Hello there. You look like you need a rest. Half as much as I need this. Thank you. I don't eat it here, though. Not where I anyone was might see. talking for a moment. Has it always been this bad? Oh, it was worse before the Chamberlain. I'd be dead without him. Me and many others. That's something at least. It's one. We have to go back to that guy after, but so we'll see. I have something for you. Go. Okay. Some food for you. From the Chamberlain. Thank you. You need to leave. Now. Please. Branded! Who told you to rest? Stop those damn flames! And you! If you've got a message for me, out with it. If not, return to your post. Bloody hell. Oh, we'll probably be able to go back to this guy. It's not been half a move since I said. Enough! Curse you! Get away from me! Jack! You'll work faster next time if you know what's good for you! Looks like you need it. The Chamberlain must have sent you, but alas, my work is far from over. If I don't go now, they'll beat me. You need to rest. But I won't. I have wounds to heal and bones to mend. And what of your own hurts? They'll wait. That's what my hunger. Thank you, though. Poor Brandon. My god. A drover has more regard for his cattle than the Empire does its bearers. Anyway, we better head to the Vale. Bastard. 
Oh, there. All right. Are you here for business or pleasure? Business, though not my own. The Chamberlain put me to work delivering food. Ah, so he found someone to help him then. Just as well. I hear his friends back at court have been taking a little too much interest in him of late. So he really is a Chamberlain? There was a time when he was the Vow's most illustrious customer. Us oh. girls thought of him as a generous uncle. He was one of the only people around here who seemed bothered by the way the Empire treats its bearers. Rare for one in his position. A fact not wasted on the dame. A little nudge from her is all it took, and he became the patron saint of Northreach's starving masses. My sisters and I may have lost an uncle, but bearers are being fed for a change, so we don't grumble. <laughs> Much. Glad to hear it. Gives you faith, though, doesn't it? To know there are people out there like him. And you, for that matter. It's no wonder the dame's got a soft spot for you. <laughs> <laughs> I better be going. That was a good quest, even if it was it was just delivery. Good like story again. A little side story. Twenty-five a magic. I'll go ahead and continue on with the investigation. Who are we going to talk to here? I've heard the bones fell Harrison favorably. Soldier. To the veil, then. I'm looking for a man with a scar over his eye. Looking for a man? Does this look like a brothel, Branded? Fuck off! Hold your tongue. He wears the dame's brooch. One word from him and the veil's doors will be barred to us for good. <sighs> There's only one man in the garrison with a dodgy eye. His name's Yannick. I haven't seen him around lately, though. On account of him being in war. Yeah, Yannick left a few days back. Said he had dealings with a merchant there. The dame, thanks you. Moor is the last village on the road to Oriflam. I should let Isabel know where I'm headed. What is that? Probably over here. Because there's a shop there. <laughs> Life, tell me you bear good tidings. That remains to be seen. Oh, Tatiana, you could have told me. This Yannick. The soldiers I spoke to believe he's in the village of Moor. According to them, he claimed to have some business with a merchant there. Though that wouldn't explain his continued absence. And you plan on travelling to Moor to ascertain the truth? Isn't that what you want? Oh, it, it is, but I fear sending you there may cause more harm than good. The people of Moor are rather set in their ways. You'll find they have little love for bearers, and they will not hesitate to report one such as you to the constabulary. There is a man in Moor who owes me a favour. More than one, in fact. His name is Bertrand, and he works at the stables. Tell him I send you. I shall return as soon as I find something. Bertrand in Moor. Yep, that's where it is. Got two side quests there too. Might as well head over there. Strange music playing now. <laughs> Sick of toggle. Oh, there we 
we go. Oh, probably should check to see how much um skill points I have. Deadly takedown. Oh. Nice. Whoa. We should have checked over here too. That's all right though. All right. Um, abilities. Seven hundred and four. Should probably upgrade. Get the mastery on on these two. The lunge and the jump yeah and we'll save those points for for another thing pull them down there we go that's enough Some Imperials here. Wait. You're not one of us. Claims to me. Oh, new enemies are appearing. Oh, we've got the war worms. Who use a high potion here? It's over. Oh, ignition. Beautiful. That is such a good move. Still got one more enemy. There we go. Ooh, a sash. Yep, it's better than what we have at the moment, so we might as well chuck it on. <laughs> Nothing behind, I don't think. I'm gonna make my, my way over there. Whoa. Over to the other um, watchtower. Might as well. Good job, Clive. 
Damage at the end. Some more Imperials over here. Let's go back to uh, um, a points that we got before. That's actually really good. Actually, we had, probably had to go over here for, some, for the two side quests that are more. <laughs> That'll be something. What are you playing at, Brandon? Got all three of them. That's enough. Give them all you've got, boy. Stay down. Oh, wow, that worm got completely destroyed there. Brium, Ivan, Ivan thing. Yeah, here's another one. You're not welcome here. Just some resources there, that's pretty alright. There's something over this way. Oh, look at that bloody crystal there. It's crazy. Nice. 
Oh, I can actually cancel out of it by pressing X there. Good move. I think there's another big dragon up ahead. Oh, never mind. It's the small ones. And then this is um, one of these. One of these things. Oh, they are. Oh, they're probably. I don't know if I can activate it though. Ah, does it look like it? The hands of Mimus. The hand of Mimus. Probably something I can do later on. Right, whoa. We'll just walk back. <laughs> just run back there. some wall hounds. Oh man, he got bloody launched all of them. That was awesome. Oh, that's awesome. The upgraded lunge. I can do like the um the follow-up attack with like the, the pressing triangle. It's really good. Oh, a little bit of a teleport down there. Might as well just have a potion. If there isn't necessarily like much to do in the in the open environments that we're exploring they, they are quite beautiful to look at quite nice to go through them the 700 700 points there some wild chocobos again a potion might as well use it She got him.
penitence gate that's what that is over there it's probably like the, the step towards getting to Oraflam. you branded here now <laughs> you're late what kept you late for what did they tell you nothing a wild beast is savaging my boy well don't just stand there gawping rescue him sure <laughs> all right where is he my i see they've sent me a branded with a spine for a change he's over that way towards the coast go and see that you kill the beast or bark for someone who's oh, we're just over there danger <laughs> he didn't seem all that worried something's not right here I need to be careful. This must be a trap. The wolf! It's going to eat me! Not if I can help it. Stay back. I'll deal with this. Keep your distance, boy. Stay down! Jesus Christ. Wolf got destroyed. It's just one enemy. Bloody hide. Are you right, kid? No! You aren't supposed to kill Wolfie. You are supposed to die. Father will have you whipped for this. Pharaohs aren't supposed to win. They never win. What is this? Your father said you were being attacked. You're not supposed to talk. Stop looking at me like that. We were only having fun. Having fun? Why are you still speaking? Father will hear of this. What the hell? The wolf's work, no doubt. But it's not the wolf that's to blame. Someone needs to put an end to this before it happens again. You better do something about it now. Jesus Christ. My son, you slaughter his poor pet and then have the gall to return, head held high. That wolf was trained. Better trained by far than your worthless kind. You are the entertainment, nothing more. And we are most certainly not entertained. Nor am I. You'll pay for what you've done. See? I told you, he talks too much. It's not right. I don't like him, father. You're not the branded I bought, are you? How dare you deceive me? Well, the sins of the slave are the sins of the master. Go, summon the unlucky wretch you answer to. Would be the dame. That unlucky wretch would be the dame. I can summon her if you like. Though I doubt she would welcome the interruption. You, uh, you, um, serve the dame. Why would a woman of her caliber... You look afraid. Well, how do you think those bearers in the field felt? Can you imagine their fear? Their pain? From the look of you, I'd say you're starting to get an idea of the first. Now, if you need help with the second... Father, he's scaring me. You think to threaten us, Branded? 
The dame's pet or no, I, I will not abide such insolence. Can't we just buy another hound? A bigger one, a better one? Of course, my son. I'll have the villagers fetch us another. With jaws powerful enough to nip this branded's head clean off his shoulders. Jesus Christ. I'm wasting my time, but I can't just leave those bearers lying out there. They deserve a proper burial. That much I can do at least. How many bearers have lost their lives to this nobleman's sport? I will bury the bodies. Fuck no. More victims of the nobles' games. You must be Clive. How do you know my name? The dame. I'm in her service. Like yourself. Never gets any easier. Burying the dead. Is that what you're here to do? The mistress has me see to it that none are left to the crows. Since you're here, can you give me a hand? Gladly. Let's put them to rest. May their burden finally be lifted. I take it you slew the nobleman's pet? I did. Now I expect they'll find another soon enough. And when it gets here, more bearers will die. How can they think so little of sending us to the slaughter? Simple. Because you are not them. Bearers are tools when they're needed. And toys when they're not. And if one breaks, well, you can always buy another. Still, such attitudes don't always go unpunished. Oh. It's in their nature. Invite one into your home. It's gonna tear your throat out eventually. Same with bearers. Fed or not, they don't lack for fangs. What will folk do when they bite back, I wonder? The realms nest two murderous bastards, and I won't mourn the loss. Here. <laughs> for their help. Holy fuck, what a turn of events for this quest line. You don't have to. Jesus Christ. Take it. You never know. Our paths may cross again. Till then. Till then, mate. Holy hell. Some more magic to ash. Ash right there. Have a look back here. Oh, now it's blood. You have me. Shift your arm. Up, the lot of you. There's still work to be done. Bloody hell. Go ahead and do this other side quest and then go to war. Um, have you seen my Chloe? I let her out of her pen while I did my chores, but she hasn't come back yet. I think she's lost. Please, can you help me look for her? Sure. I can't promise I'll find her, but I'll try. Describe her to me. 
She has beautiful white hair. She lets me stroke her when I'm sad. She's ever such a good girl. So quiet and kind. And she likes walking in the wheat. I know the fields are big, but she's never got lost before. Oh, she must be starving too. She hasn't eaten anything since yesterday. It is my job to feed her. In that case, let's not keep her waiting. Hi, things. That's a lot of field to search. With a little luck, someone might have seen her. You work these fields. I need to ask you something. Hmm. A branded. And an outsider at that, judging by the lack of manners. Why should I help you, eh? You tell me that. Because a girl from the village asked me to find her pet. Chloe. Have you seen her? Chloe, is it? Oh, little Lisette's plaything. Last I saw, the filthy creature was sniffing about the windmill. Oh, jeez. That girl's old enough to know she should tie her pet up when she's finished playing with it. The windmill. There are two windmills. We're probably in one of them. Off with you now. I won't have idle branded underfoot. Starting to get a little bit of the how these people treat the branded. Oh. At, it, it, at this place, at least. <laughs> Chloe. Just a dog. More brown than white. You're not Chloe, are you, girl? Is that? That's a dead body. On the job. I hope they don't mind the interruption. Oh, fuck. The crystal's curse. Chloe, I was calling you. Didn't you hear me? What? Get up now. You've slept long enough. It's time to go home. Chloe? <gasps> Why did you already turn into a rock? I only made you do a bit of magic. You knew you were my favorite. None of the other Chloe's had pretty hair. It could be months before Dad gives me another one. I have to wait until they're too tired to work anymore. Is that all she was to you? A plaything? Do you really not care that she's dead? She's not dead. She's a rock. That? The Crystal's curse? That's just how she died. And now she's gone forever. Giving another bearer her name won't change that. No, don't, don't say that. It's true. And without that brand, she would have been just another girl. Somebody's daughter. Just like you. Dad said bearers don't have parents. They do. Parents that give them away. Families they'll never see again. But you became Chloe's family when you took her in. Remember that. And remember her. I... <laughs> Holy fuck. I'm... I'm so sorry, Chloe. Oh. Oh yeah, this has been insane, these side quests. My goodness. Alright. Oh, Alright. Right. What more nonsense? What more stuff is going to happen at more? Jesus Christ. Oh. Alright. If the people of Moor are as intolerant as Isabel says, it's no wonder the Empire never sent my unit here. Buy, sell, or be gone.
Oh, it reduces heat wave cooldown. 2.7 seconds. Good. Pain. If that's what you want. Mm -hmm. Not enough for Ooh, you. Five black bloods yeah. here. Pity that. I pay what it's go. worth and no more. Are you Bertrand? The dame sent me. Sounds about right. Only time I hear from her is when she wants something. Well, go on then. What is it? One of her courtesans has gone missing, and I need to find her. A soldier who may have information on her whereabouts is rumored to have come here to meet with a trader. Many traders stop to peddle their wares on their way to the capital. But only once been seen quarrelling with a soldier. Is he still here? The trader? Oh, yeah. Stubborn sod stood his ground till the soldier got tired of shouting, from what I hear. If you seek him out, keep your head down. Fact is, folks round here would sooner hang a branded than help him. And that's even with the dame's brooch for protection. Understood. Mm -hmm. Oh, might as well speak with the traveling trader then. You don't think What's this? A branded? Where's your master? Must I call for the constable? I come to you from Northreach, at the behest of the dame. Perhaps you've heard of her. Why, of course I have. I am the good lady's servant. Oh, what is it that she requires of me? Rumor has it you were seen arguing with a soldier some few days ago. A soldier with a scar over his eye. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, that's right. Uh, he had a comb which he <laughs> claimed was an antique. Said he wanted to trade it for a newer one. But although it was an antique, it most certainly was not, as I told him. Nevertheless, he insisted that it was of great value and was quite vehement about my appraisal. I stood firm, however, and for all his bluster, he still purchased a new comb, albeit an inexpensive one. <laughs> and do you know where he went after that? My customers aren't usually in the habit of telling me whither they are bound, but as it happens, this one did. Yonder ruins, strange as it may sound. Oh, my thanks. Not at all. I would do anything for the day. Anything. Uh, be sure and tell her, won't you, that I was helpful, I mean. Most helpful. <laughs> the ruins nearby. Seems like it's probably going to be... Might as well do it, actually. Yeah, might as well. Check it out. Some enemies nearby. It smells of death here, Torgo. Wolves. We can't let them get any closer to the village. Okay, they're both dead. Don't let them get away! Complete. Unfortunately, it seems as though they are both dead. Damn it all. Bodies. A man and a woman. Well, 
Well, the wolves have been busy. But the blood is long dry. It's that comb too. So it is you, Tatian. If that's true, then the body next to hers will be Yannick's. The girl Yannick went off to sea every night. You said her name was Tatian. You. Did you follow me? No, why would I do that? Unless you think I'd have good reason to. But no. I was sent to find Yannick. And by the looks of things, I have. We both found who we were searching for. Nah, he was a jealous sod. I couldn't stand the thought of his woman with someone else. Then one day he sees her with a new comb. Thinks she's got herself a new gallant. Tells the garrison he's gonna find the man and kill him. We know it's all talk, but then he disappears off to more for some dealings and doesn't come back. If you mean this comb, it was a gift from the dame. <laughs> if only Yannick had bothered to ask, eh? He might not be rotting on a hill. I think he meant to ask her something else. He stole the old comb and bought her a new one in the hope they'd wed. Wed? Where would they have gone? Certainly not back to Northreach with a dame waiting. And we all know what happens to deserters. Tell the dame I'm sorry for her loss. When the lads come to collect Yannick's body, I'll see that Tatian is delivered to the Vale. Is that wise? Ah, oh, there won't be any covering up this mess. The most we can hope for is that the dame doesn't hold it against us. Speaking of which, I saw her in Moor just now. Oh. Could you tell her what happened? Might sound better coming from you. I need to tell Isabel. Perhaps the comb will give her something to remember Tatian by. Mm -hmm. Man, this has been a insane session. My goodness. I might as well talk to her. Yes, she is. If it was a message that needed delivering, I could have seen to it, my lady. Of course you could, had it not been personal. You are still in one piece, I see. You will be pleased to hear that your companions have arrived. They said they would meet you at a little chapel to the east of here. That's good Thank at you, least, but... but... You needn't have come all this way just to tell me. I was on my way to see you. You... you found her then? I see. My dear Tatia. It is by no means uncommon for a client to fall for a courtesan. Especially a client who is young and far from home. But rarely do such tales have happy endings. I found this with Tatien. I believe it was yours. Weapon comb. There you go. Thank you for returning it. I shall see that it has a place on her pyre. Well, we've got to level up at least. Suppressing enough as those quests were. My goodness. Meteorite. I should go. Before you do, I have one last gift. A token of my thanks. The Veil vale counts among its patrons several high-ranking officers of the Imperial Army. According to one of the looser-tongued gentlemen, it would appear that the legions are planning to march south. 
Or did he mention the same thing? Oh. But did he mention that it was all of the legions? This is no mere skirmish. Were I to guess, I'd say the Emperor planned to abandon the capital. But that couldn't possibly be true now, could it? Take care, Clive. I will. And thank you again. Bloody hell, what a quest line this has been. That'll feel good, boy. <laughs> what a session. What a session this has been. Holy hell. That was insane. <laughs> Especially the stuff at Moor. My goodness. That was unbelievable. Well, uh, that's going to do it for me. For this session of Final Fantasy 16. Uh, next session, uh, we'll give a uh, rendezvous uh, with Sid. Jill. <laughs> Sid and Jill and the abandoned chapel and we'll make our way potentially making our way to um horror flam we'll see how we go from there on out so thanks everyone so much for watching this hope you guys enjoyed it uh, if you missed the previous episodes done for the series check it out for my playlist on the right side of the screen on the left side of the screen a playlist of other games i've played in the past i'm currently playing at the moment so if you're interested in seeing those check them out as well and in the middle you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on games such as this and any other games playing at the moment Thanks once again everyone so much for watching this. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys next time. Goodbye.